Hmm, do we need a sound bite for the intro? Hello, how are you doing today? Last September, you may remember, we went to Small Pond Studios in Brighton to record audio tracks for our latest single called Shipwreck Off The Coast. Do check out the video if you haven't seen it already. Anyway, while we were there, we of course selected a vocal mic for Cat's Lead Vocal, and we were interested in the difference between the three mics uh, that we sort of uh, shortlisted. So what we're gonna do is share with you the difference between those mics, uh, give you some vital stats. They go from reasonably expensive to incredibly expensive. Uh, but yeah, let's see if you can hear the difference and see what you think of them. First up is the Shure SM7B, which is a condenser mic. In fact, all three of these are condenser mics. It's kind of an all-rounder workhorse of a mic and it comes in at 329 pounds. At the other end of the spectrum, we have the Newman U87, which is basically a super famous mic. It's kind of an 80s classic mic and it weighs in at around about 2,265 pounds. So this is the other end of the spectrum. Finally, we have a strange middle contender called Bees Knees Jade, and it's a U47 clone, again condenser. It's actually discontinued now, but you can pick them up secondhand around the 500 pound mark. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in time and show you the recordings we took, um, video and audio captured in Pro Tools, of each of the mics, then we're gonna have a chat through uh, the differences and discuss in detail, and then we'll come to some conclusion, hopefully. Hello, other shot. Hi. Disclaimer for this bit, none of this is edited, tuned, tweaked, anything, so it's probably a bit more rough and ready than the final version, mm -hmm. uh, but there we are. So, SM7B on the verse. Yep. Let's have a listen. It's a bunny color just on the side of a boat that gave you a smile. You've forgotten the price of this dreamlike paradise. You needed the tropical buzz. Uh, U87, Katrina. Thanks for asking. It's a bunny color just on the side of a boat that gave you a smile. You've forgotten the price of this dreamlike paradise You needed the tropical buzz To me, less bass, mm. it's less rounded, it's a bit more energetic Yeah, like, it was a bit, it reminded me a bit more hissy, I don't know why More high end, a bit more hissy mm. yeah. Is what I would call that Yeah, I just I like a really quick comparison with the first line of these, or the first few words it's a bunny collage. 7B. It's a bunny collage. Yeah, so the U87 has less energy in the low end, but I imagine it might fit in a mix a bit better. Mm. Anyway. Bees knees. It's the bunny collage on the side of a boat that gave you a smile. You've forgotten the price of this dreamlike paradise. You need a tropical buzz. Hmm, it's got some low end back again. Mm. Still quite energetic. It's more midly, it's, it sounds more. Yeah. So let's compare that to the 7B again. It's a bunny collar on the side of a boat. And bees knees. It's the bunny collar on the side of a boat. It's a s smoother quality with the it, it's, Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like it's bassy, but it's not bassy in the same way as the SM7B. Mm. It has a different quality to it. Yeah, let's have a listen to the chorus as well. 7B. You're a city girl at heart But maybe here it seems awfully dark at night Hmm. Sounds close, like in your ear. I'm trying to think of other words. Let's have a look at the U87. You are a city girl at heart. But maybe here it seems awful and dark at night. More bite. Mm. More bite is how I describe it. Bees knees. You are a city girl at heart. But maybe here it seems awful and dark at night. 
just sounds more full and more present. It's mm. more sort of here. U87 is kind of more spiky, as in uh, more dynamic. Bee's Knees is more like the mid range is compressed or something. Yeah, mm. the mid range is more present. U87, uh, through the SM7B is really smooth, basically. It's over overwhelmingly smooth and sort of not very attacky, bitey. So that was a little bit of a quick comparison for you for the three mics on uh, my vocals for Shipwreck Off The Coast. The SM7B is probably the most modern sounding, overall very smooth and good range from lows to highs. U87 has a lot of bite and is very clear in the high range but is lacking a bit of bass. And the B's knees is kind of in the middle and has more presence around your sort of mid-range area and is quite different sounding to the other two. Mm. It's all subjective, obviously. Mm. Um, I'm Mr. Compromise, so if there's like a, a nice smooth rounded one and a bitey one, and one that's in the middle, I'll, I'll, um, I'll go for the middly one usually. I can't help myself, but that is indeed what we did <laughs> on the sing single. Big surprise, uh, we went with the bee's knees. U87, I think, could slot into a mix nicely. If you've got a busy mix, especially something like uh, pop production, uh, it's going to cut through, it's going to be nice and brilliant and sound very, you know, high definition and that kind of thing. I think though, in this case, the bee's knees was good because it's a fairly sparse, there's, there's, there's plenty going on, but it's sparse in terms of instrumentation. Two guitars, there's some percussion kind of, and the bee's knees fills a lot of the spectrum and you can, you can take bits out if you need, but the 7B wouldn't cut through enough and let's say the U87 might not fill out the lower part of the, the, the spectrum for a rich sense of harmony uh, where needed or something like that. That's what my take on it is. Quick note on why in particular we picked the bee's knees because we could have really picked any of them and it would have sounded okay. My reason why I picked the bee's knees was because it just worked the best with the song and the mix. So if you're looking for a quick answer of should I use a two grand mic or should I use a 300 pound mic, it's whatever one you have to hand that works best with the mix, really. Yeah, what a frustrating answer, but it, yes. is, it, is, <laughs> it is true. Yeah, click here for a video that YouTube thinks you'll like and click here for the single shipwreck off the coast. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you'll check out some other videos on the channel. Um, stick around, leave a comment if you've got a question or a suggestion for another video. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for having us in your life and I'll catch you next time. <laughs> thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>